Perfect. So, Lawrence, how are you, mate? Yeah, everything's good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. It's been a long day today. It's a bit annoying, but it's good to look good. To look forward to this. So, Lawrence, three of your teammates, two of your teammates, sorry, have got fights on this card. So, has the training camp been any dif- different this time? Um, no, because um, usually, you know, we're all fighting. Even, we're all quite active fighters, so we'll all be boxing in around the same time. And Shane has us in all year round, regardless. We don't come camp for camp. We come, you know, um, all year. So it's just been the same, uh, except now there's been a lot more sparring. So I think it's been more difficult for Shane because he has to be in the gym for uh, a lot more hours. But for us as individual fighters, I don't think it's, it's a, a big change. And as we all know, you're a great amateur boxer. In the amateur boxing system, it's all the small ball boxing. It's all dead at the moment because there's no fights on because of COVID. Do you have any advice for any amateur boxers watching this right now? Yeah, just continue training. Um, continue training. Um, stay true to your goal. And, um, you know, the ones that are able to stay mentally focused and keep up with the stuff when opportunities do arise again, they're the ones that are going to be able to uh, do well. So just make sure you're one of them. Perfect. And I've got one more question, but I watched your music video. Yeah, it's quite good. I'm no Eminem, so I can't really comment on it. But is music something you like to pursue after boxing? That is hilarious. Uh, not after boxing. I think it's just a side little thing that I enjoy doing. Um, you know, it, obviously during lockdown, I was able to, you know, go to the studio because, you know, I wasn't in the gym as much. Um, so it's just it's just a little bit of fun on the side. Um, I don't know about after boxing. By the time I finish boxing, I'll be too old to be a rapper. So I might as well just enjoy it now. Perfect. Right. Thank you so much, Lawrence. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. This will be more than a year and a half out of the ring for you. You lost for Bradus in July for the WBO strap, and you're challenging for, you're challenging for the WBO strap again. Will ring rust be an, will ring rust be an issue for you at all? I. Czy to było te półtora roku po 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 walce, prawda? Czyli po walce w lipcu, teraz będzie walczył o tytuł WBO. Czy 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 to, że jesteś lekko zardzewiały na ringu, będzie dla ciebie problemem czy nie? To, to zobaczymy już w najbliższą sobotę, także na sparingach było wszystko dobrze. Nie czułem się zardzewiały, więc zobaczymy, jak będzie na walce. We'll see that on the, uh, on, on, on the nearest uh, Saturday. During the sparring, I didn't feel rusty and we'll see during the fight. All right. So you've also been in the ring in the likes of Usyk, Marco Huck, Bradis, Steve Cunningham. Where would you rank Lawrence out of all these fighters? Także on teraz wymienił tych bokserów, z którymi już walczyłeś. Gdzie byś umieścił, prawda, Lorenza wśród tych bokserów? Ciężko mi powiedzieć przed walką, tak? On jest młody, niedoświadczony jeszcze zawodnik. Gdzieś tam nie walczył na tym najwyższym szczeblu. Także, także ciężko mi powiedzieć, ale każdego uważam, że to będzie najcięższa walka i że to jest najlepszy przeciwnik, także teraz też tak podchodzę. It's hard to say before the fight. Uh, he's young. He's inexperienced. He hasn't fought with the uh, with the major with the major fighters. But I feel it's gonna be the the toughest fight. We'll see. All right, that's my questions done. Thank you. Some more questions. Thank you. Thank you. Coming in over from abroad. Do you have any worry that the judges might be a bit biased to your opponent? Sí, obviamente viniendo de fuera, como esa, hemos hablado antes, ¿tienes alguna preocupación de que podrá haber problemas en cuanto a los jueces? Bueno, espe- esperemos que no. Eh, creo que, que bueno, eh, al ser por televisión y creo que va a ser visto y después si lo hace mal va a ser juzgado, entonces espero que no. So I hope no. This is going to be on TV, so everybody's going to see this and experience this. So, so hopefully that will have an impact as well, but I hope there'll be no issues there. And do you think that Anthony Fowler is your toughest test to date? ¿Y crees que um, la prueba de Anthony Fowler es la más difícil para ti hasta la fecha? No, creo que no. Creo que, por ejemplo, Murtaz Aliyev, creo que era, creo que, que era un, un reto más difícil en esa situación. No, I would say, I wouldn't think, say he's my toughest challenge. I would say Murtaz Aliyev was, was my toughest, he's been my toughest opponent to date, my toughest challenge to date. And can we get a official prediction for what happens on Saturday? ¿Nos puede dar una, un pronóstico de, de, de la pelea para el sábado? Eh, creo que ganaría por puntos. So I think I'll win on points. All right, thank you. Muchas gracias. What's happened, mate? Wait, wait, am I doing Chris or Anthony? We're finishing with Chris. Fred. 
So if you get your right. questions in now, mate. All right, so Chris, this is your second time in the bubble. How's that? Is it a lot easier this time? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a, it's a, a bit of a nicer bubble than last time. It's, uh, you know, we're in a Hilton. I've seen all the... We've got a few more games and things to, to do this time, so I'm looking forward to doing some of those and having that. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I'm looking forward to it, mate. It's uh, slightly easier. You know what to expect, and I've got everything prepped and uh, brought in a lot of stuff with me. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's all good. Roland, for still don't care. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's never been stopped. And he's only, he's only got, I think he's got three losses, and one of those to a current world champion. What are your thoughts on your opponent? What's your prediction for Saturday? Uh, I'm expecting a hard, tough fight. You know, he's not going to just, you know, hit him with a shot and he'll he'll, he'll go over. He's uh, he, he's got long arms. Um, he's he's very strong and fit and um, a tough lad. So I've just got to be disciplined. I think you know if I can execute my game plan how how I want to, um, I think I could stop him late on. Um, but I'm just looking to to box him. And, you know, keep doing all I can. Um, to, to keep breaking them down, uh, then yeah, get, um, get the get the win is the main thing. All right, thanks for that, Chris. Cheers, Brad. Take care. Hi, Anthony. How are you doing, man? What's up, and made more like you. Yeah, all good. And so you started training with Shane McGuigan, and what changes have you noticed in your boxing style since you started training with him? I just feel a lot more comfortable in the ring now. I feel a lot more loose. I think I think Shane's fighting to my strengths a lot more. In the past, I was trying to get up close too much and have a bit of a brawl and constant pressure where now I'm a lot more relaxed in there. I'm thinking more about what I'm doing. I'm setting my attacks up more rather than being a bit predictable and coming forward the same, same, same over and over again. I'm trying to mix up a bit more and I think my footwork's improved. My fitness has definitely improved. I can, can spar 12 rounds like easy now where back in the day I, I was doing eight rounds and I was really breathing heavy. So I feel like I'm just a, a lot more adapted as a pro now. And as well as training hard, you've also got a baby boy in the way. Is that extra motivation for you? Yeah, it is, of course. I want, I want to prove to my son I'm, I'm a winner. I don't necessarily fight for money and a better life for me kid. I want to just prove to my child that if you work hard and put on your centre, whatever you do, you can achieve what you want rather than like earning more money to give him a better life. I don't, I don't really fight for money as much as I fight for pride and passion. And I've only got one question left. Of course, in a perfect world, you'd want the Scott Fitzgerald rematch. But apart from that fight, finally you get the win this Saturday. Are there any other fights you'd like to have? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to box the winner of Cheeseman and uh, Metcalf. I think that's a great fight. It's a natural fight for myself. Me and Cheeseman got a bit of bad blood there. Me and Metcalf are both scousers. I obviously want a British title. But it depends. Whoever wins that fight will be ha- highly ranked with the IBF. So they, they might think I'm too much of a high risk and they might go a different route. But we'll see, mate. We'll see. All right. Thank you, Tom, Anthony. Nice one, mate. Uh, Lee, how are you doing? Very well, thanks, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. So it's quite unusual we see two unbeaten prospects fight so early in their career. What's your prediction for Saturday and how do you see the fight going? Um, I'm not going to predict anything sort of spectacular. I just know I'm going to win. Um, confident in getting the win. I know it's going to be a tough fight. It's easily the toughest fight in my career. Um, I had like the toughest fight I've had was probably probably when I was back in the amateur days. So this is definitely one of the toughest fights I've had. I know he was a good amateur, um, but it doesn't mean anything in the pro game, and especially going the longer distance with an eight rounder and stuff. So yeah, no predictions other than a win. And hopefully you do get the win. But how's the last year been for you since you haven't been out at all? It's been hard to be honest. Um, yeah, it was sort of I was I was very fit sort of at the start of the year. Like I said, we were getting ready for which I thought the matching show was coming down to Bournemouth, we were being told. Um, everything was getting finalised. Chris couldn't get an opponent. Um, so then sort of obviously COVID hit, lost a bit of interest. I think everyone did because it was looking like we were miles away from boxing. Um, and then obviously saw the show started taking off again. So, so I thought I might get an opportunity. So really was training hard, getting super fit sort of summer. Um, at the end of summer last year, obviously got, got a slight injury. So I was out for a couple of months. Um, but got back at it sort of just before Christmas and it's just um, since since Christmas I've been flat out here and I, I can't believe we've got the opportunity this early and this is going to be your first eight rounder how confident you are that you'll be able to go the eight rounds com- comfortably um, I've done one eight rounder before only went two rounds um, in my last fight it was a scheduled eight 
Um, I'm very, very confident. I've been getting the good, good rounds in with, with top level guys doing, doing that distance and doing 10 rounders with fresh, with fresh opponents. Like last week, we've had two fresh lads jumping in and out with me. I'm um, short of breaks. So I know I'm fit enough. I'm, I'm a naturally fit guy anyway. I'm doing it. I'm doing um, 5Ks in under 18 minutes. You know, I'm, I'm super fit. I'm ready for it. Perfect. All right. I wish you luck for Saturday. Thank you. Thank you very much, mate.